the USA trade up uh, as indicated by Allen, it's a US government funded initiative which covers Botswana, Eswatini, Lesotho, Malawi, Mozambique, Namibia, South Africa, and Zambia. Uh, it's a $73 million initiative. We are in our fifth year of uh, six years. So I'll just walk you through in terms of what uh, SEPVEST is doing and what it means to us and where the two worlds connect. We do three things. We recognize South Africa's uh, important uh, economic uh, role within the region. If we combine the seven countries that I mentioned uh, and compare them with South Africa, you'll find that South Africa's GDP is four times larger than the seven countries combined. Yeah. Uh, and promoting intra-regional trade is therefore important in terms of maximizing all the opportunities available within the sub-region and beyond. So the first thing that we do then is to promote a movement of goods and services from the region into South Africa. You may ask why. Take for example Macadamia. South Africa is a leading exporter of macadamia, but it's not necessarily the leading manufacturer or producer. We have to rely on imports from Mozambique, Malawi, and Zambia. And that linkage within the region enables the industry in South Africa to access the needed raw materials to export, to further process re-export or export elsewhere uh, in, in, in the world. Secondly, when you look at uh, FDI uh, uh, inflows, South Africa commands the lion's share in the region, but we need to move that capital uh, into the region. So expansion of uh, investors from South Africa into the rest of the region is our second objective. That also includes a uh, movement of technologies. Uh, we know that South Africa is a lot of uh, industrialized sectors, but growth is further north then moving that technology into the rest of the region is one mechanism that we can use to grow the economy. Then lastly, we've got the African Growth and Opportunity Act, which offers uh, preferential trade terms on at least 6,500 product lines into the US. This is only available to African countries. And it means, therefore, companies within the region that we're operating in have a competitive edge when they get into the U.S. I mean, the U.S. is a big market. If you look at South Africa, how many are we? 59 million. We compare that with how many? 330 million are people in the U.S. That's already a very large market for us to tap into. So we support companies from the region to get into the U.S. So in short, the trade platform is useful in terms of bringing together key players that need to interact to transact and find each other in a manner that reduces the costs of searching to find each other, but also costs in terms of doing the actual deals, as well as thickening the ecosystem to ensure that all the required services are available in one place and it's easy for people to transact. So Chimewe wants to grow her business uh, through international trade. But it's not always going to be possible for every small business to get into the US, to get into South Africa, to get into the EU. We need mechanisms that will enable the vast uh, productive capacity that's available across our continent to be tapped into and converted into tradable products and services. Meet Peter. So Peter is uh, a manufacturer, a processor of uh, peanut butter. Uh, in Zambia, but he also trades in uh, peanut butter and groundnuts. And as we know, South Africa has over the last 10 years uh, been uh, witnessing a decline in the harvesting or production of uh, groundnuts. Where do they come from? We can either source them offshore or we can source them from within the region. Uh, when we source them offshore, we source for how much at least $1,300 per metric ton. Source from Zambia, Malawi, or Mozambique, you can source for $800 a ton. You can get the groundnuts in seven days as opposed to 45 days. So speed to market 
uh, quality as well as cost of raw material is enhanced through uh, promotion of intra-regional trade. So Peter needs working capital and technology that is not available in Zambia, but is available in South Africa. This is where the African trade platform comes in, in terms of what it offers. So Peter can source the groundnuts from Chimewe and 45,000 other smallholder farmers, 80% of whom are women, and act as an aggregator, and work with a buyer in South Africa who is looking for the raw material. But for that to happen, a number of services are required to make that trade possible. So the African trade platform then comes in handy in terms of offering those range of services. So we are very grateful for Selvest in this market leadership in offering a platform where different actors can collaborate and build an ecosystem that will enable all those services to be available to Peter, to Jimewe, to uh, exporters. I'm using an example that is probably lower level, but we can now scale this up to mining. We can scale this up to any other commodity and any other players within the system. The principles remain the same. And this is why the platform is of interest and excites us as uh, the USAID trade hub. The platform features that excite us are the fact that, one, the users or customers uh, find that the platform will reduce transaction costs and will produce uh, the right matchmaking arrangements that will enable people to find each other easily to trade. Secondly, the role of authentication of who is on the platform, are they who they say they are, is quite important because it builds the confidence amongst the actors to say, I can transact because whoever is on that platform has been authenticated. And thirdly, the configuration in terms of the digital interface means that a lot of other players beyond the buyers and sellers can also participate in this platform and further add value to the, to the platform. If we look at Facebook, in this model, it's a platform. In uh, 2004, when it started as a social network, it had a few users. But with time, looking 2007, it added its plat on its platform developers so that complementary capabilities could be brought onto Facebook. And as a result of that, by 2014, they could acquire WhatsApp. 26, 2019, 2.6 billion users on that platform, now interfacing on WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, and Messenger. Look to the left in terms of, uh, to the right in terms of uh, how that was enabled. That was enabled as a business model by combining the capabilities of Facebook as well as the capability of other ecosystem players that could develop complementary products or services and tools that could be loaded onto the platform to enable them to get here, to the 2.6 billion. So when we see the vision that you have started off with, we see it in this realm, which is why it's important to us as the USA Trade Hub to partner with you to continue with this uh, very interesting initiative. The platform is not only for big players. We know that Africa has got so many micro, small, and medium enterprises. How do they get to participate in a trade platform like this? The women that do crafts under trees, the women that harvest marula in Palabora, in Zambia, and other places, well, the platform is relevant to them because we can now have what we call market intermediaries that can organize all these players and be on this platform and undertake trades which can attract buyers from Europe, from the US, and elsewhere through the organization capabilities of this trade platform. So to sum it all in terms of the key benefits that we see uh, on this trade platform is that one, it's connecting users. 
uh, which enables people to find each other and trade and to grow the economies through trade and investment. Uh, market entry is made easy uh, because the trade platform does not sleep. There are no closing hours. You can trade across the time horizons, which is very helpful in terms of getting more transactions happening on the trade platform. Uh, I've talked about trans transactions already, but the economies of scale and scope are quite interesting for us if you look at the number of sectors that we have across the continent and the capabilities that the trade platform has in terms of enabling all those players to come together. And with time, we'll get to the 2.6 billion that we're talking about. We are talking about an African continent that is getting to 2 billion uh, population in 2030. We know that of the six largest, uh, fastest growing economies in the world, five are in Africa, even under COVID. So the platform is being launched at the right time when Africa is coming together and having the Continental Free Trade Agreement, which is launching in January. So bravo to Selvest for setting this up. We will continue to partner with you in terms of advancing this work uh, within the region. Uh, thank you very much.